In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can create a payment form for HubSpot. So we're going to be using a tool called Cartfield. So go to cartfield.io and start your free 14 day trial to follow along with this video. So what Cartfield allows you to do is it allows you to create a payment form and then have that payment form be embedded on any website. So like WordPress, HubSpot pages, HubSpot landing pages, or any other website that allows embeds. And then you can embed that Cartfield payment form. And then when someone makes a purchase, and this is what the form looks like. If you scroll down to the bottom here, the forms look like this. When someone makes a payment, then that payment will go directly into HubSpot. So I'm going to talk about how to make these payment forms and then how to actually embed them so that you can start taking payments. So the first thing is when you sign up, you want to make sure that you have inside of settings that you have your payment gateway connected. So uh, they connect with Stripe or PayPal. By the time you're seeing this video, PayPal will be released. Um, but for now, just connect with your Stripe account. And then once you have that connected, uh, you'll be able to start taking those payments. Then the next thing you need to do is make sure that in settings under external integrations that you have your HubSpot account connected. All you need to do is click this orange button. And then once it opens up this pop up, you will then select which uh, account you want to connect with Cartfield. So connect your account. And then once you have that account connected, then you'll be able to follow along with the rest of this video. So what we're going to do is go to product actions and click on new product sequence. From this area, we're going to give our sequence a name. A product sequence is basically um, your payment form. Um, the reason why it's called a sequence is because with cart fuel, you can actually do one click upsells and we'll talk about that, but you can have the ability to offer more products to your customers without really having to do much besides offering them that product. So what we're going to do is give our sequence a name and we'll just say HubSpot tutorial. And then this is internal. So, um, no one's going to see this. It's just for you to give it a name for your own viewing. And then after that, what we're going to do is click on add product. So from here, we're going to give our product a name so you can add multiple products and I'll show you that in a second. But for now, let's just add HubSpot video and let's say that that video is $10. You can choose between a one time payment, meaning they only pay $10 once, or you can do a recurring payment, meaning that they will pay $10 for a set amount of time that you designate. So in this case, it will be set to build every one month, but you can change it to day or week. And you can also set an expiration. So as if it's a monthly payment, then you can say cancel this monthly payment after two months. For now, I'm just going to do a one time and then I'm going to click on save. You can also add uh, quantity fields and taxes, but for now, I'm just going to save and then let's add a second product. So let's say HubSpot advanced video and let's say that this is uh, $50. So the billing frequency can be again, one time or recurring. We'll do one time. And now you can see here that it updates. And now you can see that we have our HubSpot video and then we have our HubSpot advanced video. That's $50. Once you have the products that you want to sell, you can then change the currency by selecting from the dropdown. And you can also give your product uh, a description. And then you can also do some of these other stuff, which is charge additional fees, countdown timer. You can add a phone number field. So, um, if you know, you want to collect their phone number, you can also use HubSpot forms. So if you have a form inside of HubSpot, um, you can see that we connect it here and we, uh, it will show up here. Um, you can add shipping fields and coupons and order bumps. So there's a lot of things that you can do for keeping this video short. I'll just add the phone number field, but there's a lot of different things like order bumps that you can do basically, which will allow them to add, um, more products onto their order. For example, in this case is an audio book. Uh, we have more videos talking about that. So you can check that video out for now. I'm just going to do a simple payment form like this. After that, you can go to the next step, which is the customizer payment form. So you can choose a different font. And if you choose a different font, it's going to change the payment form here. So Poppins, and then it will change all of the text to Poppins. You can choose a different uh, form style between classic or two step. A classic is basically just a vertical, whereas two step is more horizontal and they have to enter their name and email address before they see the rest of this information. All right. So let's do the classic and then um, the header. You can change out the header text. So if you don't want this, you can delete that. The payment method, the same thing. The header text color you can also change as well. Uh, the next step is the placeholder. So if you want to change out the placeholders, you can do so. So for example, enter full name, maybe you say enter your full name instead of enter uh, full name. And you can do the same thing for the email address. And then you can also split the full name as well. Meaning that you can um, say, I want to have the first name and last name as separate fields, as you can see here, uh, instead of just one field, totally up to you. The buttons, you can change the button text. So you can say, yes, I want this. 
right and then you can change the button color to be whatever whatever color you want you can change the button text color the button size and also the button radius just like so the url you can actually enter the terms of service url um a privacy policy url and if you enter those urls down here it will change so if you enter you know your your terms of service url when someone clicks on that it's going to bring them to the terms of service page just to keep everything nice and orderly you can also do custom head code and custom css i'm not going to do that right now i'm just going to go to the next step so step three is where are you going to send this person or persons? Uh, what page are you going to send them to after they buy this product, right? So if it's going to be your thank you page, then you can enter a thank you page here. If it's going to be an upsell page, which I am going to show you, then you need to toggle this on. If it is an upsell page, what you need to do is enter the URL of the upsell page. But if you're not going to offer an upsell, then you can just enter whatever URL you want them to go to after they buy the products. So in this case, I am going to offer an upsell. So I'm going to show you that. So what you need to do is locate the upsell page URL. So in our case, we're going to be using HubSpot pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, marketing website and then website pages and then from here i'm going to go to landing pages and then what i'm going to do is just locate uh my upsell test page which i already have created in your case if you don't have a page you just need to create a page and then i'll show you how to embed that on that page but for now we're just going to grab this url and then we're going to go back to cart fuel and we're going to paste that url in there and then down here you can do the same thing you can change the name of uh the upsell so let's say that this is a hubspot training series i don't know <laughs> um and then you can also change the price so we'll say that's a hundred dollars and then you can add a description the text color and then you can also add some other things like charging additional fees um only showing the upsell button versus showing the text uh, you can change the billing frequency to one time or recurring you can charge taxes so very similar to what we did up in step one you do the same thing for an upsell for those who don't know what an upsell is is basically they can click this button and this hundred dollars will be added to their total from here so they don't have to re-enter their debit or credit card information so it's it's a really unique way to make more money without really having to do much other than offering the products all right, so um, let's go into the style tab where we can then change. Before we dive into the rest of the video, we like to thank our video sponsor, CartFuel. CartFuel is the easiest and quickest way for you to accept one-time and recurring payments in HubSpot. All you need to do is connect your Stripe or PayPal account, configure your payment form by adding countdown timers, coupons, or order bumps, then copy and paste the code they provide you onto any site, including WordPress or HubSpot pages. Did we mention CartView has one-click upsells? That's right. Your customers can order more products without having to re-enter their credit or debit card with a single click. But you want to know what's the best part? When a sale occurs with CartFuel, your customer's name, email address, phone number, and products they purchase will teleport into HubSpot. It's like magic. This means you can trigger workflows to boost customer retention and decrease refund rates. All this and more with no custom code needed. Try CartFuel for free for 14 days by clicking the link in the description or comment section of this video. All right, let's get back to the content. The upsell button text color. We can also change the up upsell button text. So yes, I want this upsell. Perfect. We can also change the button size and button radius like we did in step one. We can do uh, some custom code here as well. And then after upsell, where are we going to send them after they buy this upsell? So similarly to what we did in step three, where are they going to go to after they uh, buy this upsell? So in our case, we're gonna send them to that thank you page. We already have our thank you page created. So what I'm going to do is just grab this URL and then paste that here. And then the no thank you text correlates to here. You can change that. Um, and then also the no thank you URL. So if they say, no, I don't want this, then you have to send them somewhere. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create an upsell. Very simple. All right. So if you want to add another upsell, you just toggle this on and then make sure that this upsell number two link, obviously similar to how we did it up here, but I'm just going to leave it as one upsell. Go to the next step integration. You can add integrations. We have Carfield currently connects with Kajabi and Rewardful. Kajabi allows you to connect your payments directly so that they can sell uh, a course basically and then the rewardful is for affiliates so affiliate marketing if you have you know affiliates for your products you can give them commissions let's go to the next step step five is about email so you can actually email them from cart fuel um if you want to send them like a quick little email you could do that or you can just do it inside of hubspot totally up to you let's click on save now now that we created our payment form, it's time to embed it on our HubSpot landing page. So you see here that we have some codes. You don't have to do anything with these codes besides click, click, and then we're going to paste it. And then there's a video up here um, showing you how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it right now. 
So I'm going to get rid of these pages and we're just going to go to our upsell page or our pages where we're going to sell. So our main page and then our upsell page. But before we do that, you need to go into the asset marketplace. So what you need to do is go to modules and then um, you need to search HTML and then install this module from that's by HubSpot, the HTML module. Once you have that installed, you'll be able to then do what we're about to do right now. So once you have it installed, go back to your website pages, go to landing pages, and then locate the page where you're going to sell your main products. So I'm gonna click on edit. I'm gonna copy that first code because we are going to embed that on our site. So I already have a version here. What I'm gonna do is just delete this and I'm gonna do it from scratch. So I'm gonna search HTML and we're gonna drag this in. And then inside this HTML box, we're just gonna uh, paste the code we just copied here. So then we're gonna go back here and we're gonna copy the second code and we're gonna go here and we're just gonna paste it in. We click apply changes and now you can see on the right hand side that our payment form has now appeared. So now what we're going to do is click on update update page now and we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to do it for the upsell page so what we're going to do is go back we're going to go to our upsell test page we're going to click on edit and then we're going to go back to cart fuel and then we're going to grab our code so we're going to grab this code and i already have this code here so what i'm going to do is just delete this but you would just drag in the html code like you did previously and then just paste the code into that so that, like the same thing you did for the main product code you do the same thing so you drag in the html element Let's click on apply changes and now our upsell has appeared. So now we're going to update this page and now what we're going to do is we're going to test this out, make sure it works and make sure that the information goes directly into HubSpot. So what we're going to do is I already have my main product page open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh this really quickly. And one thing to note is because you're in the live application, I'm in the dev account. So my account essentially is already in uh, test mode but for you you want to make sure that you turn this on and then click save again um, but because I'm already in test mode I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to save it and go back to the landing page okay so now let's test this out so how do we test this out first of all you select the products that you want so let's just say that I want both of these products and then um, I select credit card and then I'm going to enter my name and I'm just going to make up a name and we'll say all right and then We'll do this. So when you're testing out a card, you want to do 42424242424242424242. And then any CVC and any uh postal code will be fine. As long as you have this part, you're good. Um and any future date you're you'll be fine. Alright, so now we click on yes, I want this. And now it's gonna redirect us to our upsell page. And now we can make that decision, or the customer can make the decision if they want to buy this HubSpot training series or not. They could say yes or no, depending on what they uh, press, it's going to redirect them. Let's say that we do want this upsell. So I'm going to say yes, and then it's going to redirect me to this page here. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our HubSpot account and we're going to go into our contacts and we are going to make sure that this person made it. So Ronnie C did make it. We could click on this contact. And now we can see that our products have made it. So the HubSpot video, HubSpot advanced video, and then the HubSpot training series has all made it. So now with this information, you can create workflows to follow up with customers. You can create pipelines and make sure that they go into the right pipelines so that your sales team can reach out to them. Um, but with this, you get a lot more flexibility out of your HubSpot account that you normally wouldn't be able to do. So that's how you do it. By using cart fuel, you're able to accept one time recurring or upsells, order bumps, all that good stuff, and have those sales go directly into your HubSpot account without using code. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give us a comment down below. Give us a like. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. We're trying to make this a really big channel to help people like you master HubSpot. We'll see you guys in the next video.